<laughs> we're halfway through our day and between ice cream, bags, wine, cheese, ice cream, more biscuits. Uh, this is our favorite places in year. I've just realized is our favorite food and beverage tour. <laughs> we probably should do a video of the actual favorite like hiking places and museums and stuff like that, right? Uh, we should. But we're just food people, but I guess. But we like our food. <laughs> So today is, we only have two weeks left until we leave this town and we are, we're sad. Yeah, we're sad and we've really built a lot of fun community places that we'd love to go here and made friends with shop owners. So today, we're gonna take you on a tour to meet our favorite people and our favorite places and yeah. We're gonna drink coffee, drink beer, eat cheese and pizza. Maybe and drink some stuff. wine, eat some bread. So we've been living in our little cute quaint village, yeah, for 10 months now and it's time to go. I'm sad, I'm gonna try and not get too emotional. Um, we know it's time because our years are running out with our kids but it's not time mentally for us because we love it here. Each day here, every time we go into town, we start our day with coffee. This coffee is awesome. And this is our coffee shop right here. This is our coffee shop, our office, our people watching spot, our just about everything. We come here about four or five days a week and this place makes the best, I would say, the best cafe creme. Now, and this, cappuccino. And cappuccino and just about and everything else. And garage. And... They do a lot of things really well. <laughs> Bonjour! I, I have the title for, for your movie. What's our movie? Your movie. The best coffee shop in the Cafe Italian Story. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you know why we come here. Look how fun he is. And he can, since we're terrible at French, he can understand us somewhat because his English is better than our French. This is the best coffee ever. And he is so cute. I love this place. here but we're gonna take you into our wine champagne guy let me tell you this guy has saved us anytime we go to a dinner we go to him we say what do we bring this is a type of dinner these are the people this is how we know them when we need gifts for someone thank goodness he speaks English because we would be lost we would be the fools who brought the wrong thing to the wrong dinner um, the French have a very very um, sophisticated liquor wine drinking system that Will and I are still kind of learning about but enjoying learning about and this guy has helped us a lot so let's go come on all right so he's helping someone right now but that's him right over there the wine god we call him right Will so so we learned here that aperitif is the pre-dinner drink and there's many in the variety of aperitifs there's, I like this one there's this orange stuff I like this uh, there's pastis which I like is the like pastis an also and of course, Careful. there is we the, drop it. we can pay for it, absinthe. there's absinthe, which is really at that powerful. point, just skip dinner and go yeah. to bed. Yes. But, Okay, we love this guy. So this guy's trick, what he does, and, and he's, not only does he have a great personality, but this guy always grabs a little piece of bread and then throws it on a piece of top, with top and on, and then just hands it to you and almost like shoves it in your face. And you're, you're just like, stop, I can't, I can't eat anymore. But it's so good. And this guy's got top and on, he's got olives, he's got garlic. And really, garlic is, you don't want to think about eating garlic like, like garlic, but this guy makes it so well. It's gonna keep us healthy for the rest of our lives. <laughs> our next stop is fruit. Now we are part-time vegetarians. <laughs> part <-time>. because, <laughs> because we've had a, a very hard time accustom getting accustomed to this lifestyle. But this place, this guy, this vegetarian sort of fruit and veggies guy has been our saving grace. He always has the freshest stuff in market and he always knows what to recommend and he knows what's in season. And he has a great attitude. I run by here every morning. He's like, bonjour, every little morning. I really enjoy seeing you. Plus he really speaks really good English. So this is my favorite variety of apple. Now this is gonna be a little bit controversial because Jessica's father's an apple farmer. Or 
or at least a former apple farmer. This is the Pink Lady. Now you can find this in the US at like a Whole Foods or maybe your high end grocery stores, but these are my favorite, favorite in the globe apple I've ever seen. Um, and they're all over France. I think they're actually grown here in France. These are awesome. I know why you like the Pink Ladies. Because of my Pink Lady. <laughs> So our next place, we have a very unhealthy relationship with. They, he's got us. I do. By a heartstring that no one else has. Maybe she has one bigger than me. But our next place is. I'm in love with this guy. I mean, he's cool. <laughs> Where do you think we're going? I don't want to tell the other shop owners, but I think this is kind of going to the top of my list. I cannot get enough of this. This is the first shop we went to. <laughs> I, we have we have a history with this guy. And we fell in love. La, 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 la. <laughs> Let's go say hi to him. We haven't been here yet today. Today. <laughs> well, one of everything we haven't tried. What's left? <laughs> Bonjour. So we only have two more weeks here. I'm very sad. I'm going to miss you. No. That can't be car. Okay. But can you come with us? <laughs> <laughs> and all your cheese? No. And all your knowledge? <laughs> Alright guys, this is our favorite, favorite, favorite cheese shop. And if you watch our videos, you've seen him in there before. We love him. We thank him for helping us and educating us on cheese. Um, we're still learning, but we're gonna we're gonna have a hard time without him. <laughs> Which is our favorite chocolate store. We come here all the time to get presents for different people and stuff. And my favorite of the chocolate ones is the one with the caramel. In it. This is one of my favorite places too. Oh, okay, so this is the biscuit place. It makes homemade ice cream and homemade biscuits. We haven't, we, so we saw it, but we've never gone into it. And we found it like two weeks ago. So we just saw it and I wish we saw it earlier because it would be so cool to have this every day. It smells absolutely delicious It smells delicious, delicious. And this place, um, I'm just gonna do a mention, I was never much of a meringue person, but they have every flavor meringue you can imagine here and they're good chocolate. Pecan, plain, uh, cocoa, it's, and they're delicious. I had a couple last week. Love this place. Wish we would have found it earlier. You can leave some monster on your <laughs> no. Well, we're going to the beach tonight to meet friends, so I thought it would be nice to bring some for friends, right? So we're here at a favorite bread shop. First we were only coming here once a day. Now we're coming here twice a day. And we're thinking we might even have to up it to three times a day. For the next week and a half at least. <laughs> So this is, yeah, this is downtown here, the historical district, and we only have like two weeks left, and we're so, we're kind of sad about that. I'm I mean, not kind of sad, we're, I'm super well, sad. Well, I'm ready for the next adventure, I'm ready for I the next too. chapter in our life, but... And I know it's time, it's But this time. place has it's, really been something special for us. It really has, it's really been something special. Every Saturday we come out here for the market, <laughs> and every Saturday we get to know the people just a little bit closer. <laughs> these, these are no one we know right now. Okay, so this is the pizza place. This, we usually go here about maybe once a day. So I think that's slightly exaggerated. We don't come here every day. We, we come here we, twice a day. We, no, we don't. We're like <laughs> once a week, max. Once a week. Okay. Okay, I'm so shy. This town has a lot of really good pizza places, but this is our favorite of all the different pizza places. I feel like they just like the hot sauce. It's really good. They know exactly what we like. We like our food spice. Okay, 
pizza, you know? It's just, it's really nice. This is our our coffee shop of food because this is where we come in and we, we know everyone. We come here a lot. We go to the Thai restaurant in town a lot. We don't eat out a ton, but this is our go-to place. They deliver. They They're deliver. super they sweet and cute. They know what we like. Basically, we're the only people who speak English who are American here. So whenever we pick up the phone and call them and we say hello, they go, oh, okay, American. Hello. They said they're going to come. Um, they're going to come with us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, wait. They're going to come. Well, closing out our afternoon because there is more night festivities. We're going to have a glass of wine, maybe some olives, and chat about life. This is our little post-lunch treat. We do not do this every week. We don't eat this much all the time. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Hot today. <laughs> you can see my face. So we're on our way to the beach and the kids are on the phone doing FaceTime with the grandparents and I'm driving and doing this because we're going three miles an hour and yeah, she's driving with me. He's not going, but he's going to get off now because we're going into a rotary. So we are so we're here at the beach and we've been here before this has been probably the beach that we spent the most time this is Amarnar Beach which is known for a lot of windsurfing a lot of kite surfing um, it's really close to the house we come here a lot this is gonna be a cool little picnic activity that we're gonna do there's like four or five families and we're just gonna hang out here until the sun sets or until we have to be called for the other event that we're going to tonight So the water here is just a little bit on the chilly side and that's just the fact of being on the Mediterranean but it's really nice. The water's clear and there's plenty of people watching here. We like to do a lot of people watching as you can imagine. It's really cool. It's like a fish. You can buy a boat like that during my How is it? It's, hot. it's cold. It's cold. I'm a wimp when it comes to the water. Oh, oh, it's cold. It's cold. Oh my gosh. Yummy food. Yummy food. 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 What we brought, which came from the store, all the lovely homemade stuff. <laughs> That is a specialty of her grandmother. And that's his specialty. <laughs> tracking it today. We just spent two and a half hours at the beach with a bunch of friends of ours and now we're going to hang out with other friends to listen to some Pink Floyd type music. Type so, music? Well, it's not Pink Floyd, so I can't say Pink Floyd music. And this is my favorite part of year. Yeah. This is the local brew pub. This is the Ildor brew pub. It is, we're actually right near the airport so we can't play the drone here or else. But then again, it's nighttime. But it's really cool. Um, and we're closing out the night here, and guys. We're closing out the it night. has been an awesome, fabulous day. I'm gonna cry. I don't want to leave, but this is where we're gonna close out our night. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. This is our swan song for a year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for making this place home for us for so long. Yeah, and we love uh, it here. The next we couple love of videos it. are all gonna be about um, about the RV life and but, transitioning. Uh, and transitioning. Stuff, yeah. So thank you. Thank you for making this part of our life. And we hope we were a good part of your we'll life. We'll be back. And we'll be back. <laughs> Next time, see you later. World Towning. Au revoir. Bye. We are on our way to the beach and the kids are communicating with yeah. the in-laws. Do it again because I just had an ugly armpit shot. Go ahead. Go ahead. Beach. <laughs> Don't do this while you're driving. Yeah.